Hello, we're starting a new video. I'm um, gonna go do some more work on the park, and um, we will start working on uh, Street Fox Coffee area with Foxy as the spokesperson, and uh, we'll set up her little stage area. All right, go ahead and bring in a clip, and um, we'll do some editing from here. Yeah, should we throw in a little commentary on this one? I don't think I had the mic plugged in, so there's not much vocals on this. We start in a new park, like I've mentioned. Um, this is going to be a speedway theme. One side of the park will be the log camp. The other side will be like a speedway. Starting out at the beginning here, I created some trucks that I'm going to use as display props as you might call them um, I can put the logos on the side of the boxes there the one the one was the first one I built the box is a little bit smaller so don't fit the whole frame so I went back in well I got the footage of that that show where I extended and created a bigger box I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me pointing this is the um, the, like a like a hot spot, a place where um, like I'll, I'll I'll sign my um, an employee to that spot. Uh, right now I'm creating um, the focal point for Foxy, who promotes Street Fox Coffee, which I create a little area here. I need to put a couple of benches or tables there so people can sit down and have something to drink. Well, it's sponsored by Street Fox Coffee, and Foxy is the spokesperson for that, and she has fans, and they will stop, and she will um, promote a nice warm cup of coffee, you know, to start the day. Like she was promoting over in the winter candy land was a nice hot coffee on a cool winter's day, which actually wasn't all that cold. It was pretty warm out being down in the southern part, southern hemisphere where it's 70 degrees all year round. The temperature never changes here. Um, which is a good thing. That way you can create a park and you don't have to worry about customers getting wet from being rained on. <laughs> but that's, you know, that's, it's all make-believe. It's fun. See, there's Foxy right there. Uh, so I, I'll put her here. I'll sign her to this spot. That's why I put the faculty staff building next there where she can go in and rest. Then she can come back out. And she can uh, 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 entertain her adoring fans, her adoring crowd. But see, that's why I put her off to the side this time because last time I had her, she's right in the middle of the pathway. So she, people would stop to watch her, listen to her, and they're blocking the, the main pathway, so that's why I put her off to the side. And um, I didn't like the way this building looks, so I'm going to fix that. But for right now, I'm trying to establish her little spot. Um, figure out some place to put a camera crew without the um, the crowd blocking the view of the camera. So I didn't think that went out too well, but I, I, it's all right. It, it, it'll work. It's just a park. It's all make believe. But I like building. I like. See, here's that where I'm typing. You can't see me typing until I actually hit enter, and then I'll pull, fill in the box. See, I could, I could fix that too. I could split it and just have the words magically appear. So I must be doing something. Yeah. I must be typing there. See, it just went in. I was typing. You can't see it because it brings up the screen for typing when you're on the PlayStation. And um, so until I hit enter, you don't see what what's being typed. Oh, excuse me. I like how the trucks turned out. I just I just wish they had different cabs, so you could do like like maybe a more modern day truck. Um, 
There's a step van, but it's a it's a uh, SWAT van. But I don't know if you can change the colors on it. You can use that too as like a supply vehicle. That's what I'm doing. It's like uh, with the logging company, it'd be like they would carry their chainsaws and chains and ropes and different supplies that you wouldn't necessarily want out in the weather, so you keep them inside or keep them locked up. Um, I'm going to use one for uh, the fairgrounds, the off track fairgrounds, which I will set up. Like I did on the uh, PC map, I will do the same thing here where I'll use the um, the grass type pathways to create, um, like, they look like temporary paths, and I'll use that. See, here's the um, faculty, the staff faculty building that I'm building for, well, all staff can use it, but I put it there so Foxy has a place to go when she wants to rest. And, um, so, trying some different, um, uh, besides it's just a gingerbread look, which I did. It, I kind of like that look, but, you know, you got to change it up a little bit. Can't have it all that way. You know, not all, um, Grizzles dens are, uh, gingerbread, so. <laughs> edible, though. Create an edible house. Yeah. Um, so I got a different, different, I want the buildings to look a little different that, that they're or not all the same, and um, I can't remember, do I go, no I think that's, that's coming up, so what I could do is bring this in and speed this all up, and everything I'm saying here will be sped up, and, you know, so we'll see what happens. With that, I, I got footage of it where I go to the clipboard and I, I'm creating um, uh, street lamps. Uh, I don't want to use the ones I use with Winter Candyland because that's more like a, a winter festive look. So I was going to try a different look using a different lamps and um, see. I'll go into clipboard my clipboard where I put that stuff together and then uh, I put it to the blueprint and then I can come into here and I can bring them in that's what I do with the trucks I worked on them over in the clipboard got them the way I want them and brought them in and then I could change the color of the trucks once I bring them in so like the red ones I'm probably going to use that for the fairground and I'm going to look for a couple things I can put on the side of the trucks and then I got the other logging trucks. That's going to be part of um, Olaf Logging. Olaf Logging Company? Something like that. But that's what the blue trucks will be. That part of that. Because I already got the log trucks made. And I'll bring in a couple light trucks. And we'll use those to put some light. Now I'm putting in the um, coffee shop. This will be the little uh, Street Fox Coffee. See, I, I'm doing it there so I can put in a couple of tables right there where people can sit down and um, this way the line for the coffee will be off the main pathway. It won't be blocking the path. So at the present time I've got a couple spots. So I should put some, I could put a little small little ride in the back there. I'm wondering if we should do fairground, but I should look to see where I want to put the the, the race track. Now the question is, do I use the same race track for two different races, like I did in the first one, and then just sh uh, show how you can take the same track and make it look different than the other track, and it actually create like two separate different rides, but it's all the same ride in reality. It kind of show showcase what you can do with the with a planet coaster and how how changing different things can change the look and kind of give you a, a create a different theme. You know, it's just that's like with the with the Candyland. It started out with the sleigh ride, and then I created the logging camp theme 
through that one and then I can use that over in here and like Grizzle's Den will become a franchise park park you know from place to place you know a little different each park is a little different but at the same time it has the same features from park to park so you know that if you go to the, the Grizzle's Den down in Timbuktu down in the south it's the same similar part to the one up in Walla Kabam up in Chicken Monk I don't know I'm just making up stuff I don't want to use actual names because it's I don't want um, face copyright stuff you know I'll say you can't use that that's got a copyright on it okay I won't use it I'll create my own and that's where Olaf come from it's old old Grizz's logging and forestry company Olaf <laughs> And it seems a lot of that goes back to when uh, grinding the, the different games art. First thing you do is go, go gather wood. Get yourself a couple of rocks and make yourself an axe. Because <laughs> you're going to chop a lot of wood. And yes, you do. Minecraft, same thing. First thing you do is you punch a tree, get a few sticks, and make yourself a wooden axe. And cut down more trees. So, logging's been through all the different adventures so it's not far-fetched to create fun parks from old adventure themes and stuff like that where Grizzle is an old adventurer starting way back at WoW World of Warcraft and Grizzle's gone on to drive tanks in World of Tanks he's gone on to drive warships in World of Warships um, he's not the best but he can he, he's having some good games. He can do pretty good. and He's tier 5 tank on uh, PC. And I think I got a couple tier... I got a tier 6 or something on the on the PlayStation. So, And then I got... A, I don't remember what it is for warships on the PlayStation. I got them. And um, Crossout was another one I played for a while. But that's just building from destruction. So... <laughs> As you progress, you can build bigger and better vehicles. Uh, but it's grinding. It's creating, you know, gathering stuff in order to create. what It's mostly metal and stuff like that in that game. But a lot of the other games, survival games, um, uh, Seven Days to Die. You know, you got to collect wood to make things. Um, to make platforms or walls and stuff like that. Reinforce stuff with wood rocks and metal so that's what we're doing here and uh, creating a couple new worlds let's see we're at 1440 so and here I'm building Foxy's little place this is this is a sports thing that so we're building Foxy's place here this is her spot this is where she will be promoting the coffee and um, I got the coffee shop set up already and um, so we can go on to putting in uh, creating the bathroom and that way if I create one here then I can use that one throughout the park I don't have to keep rebuilding another structure just to for a cut but we got to have bathrooms throughout the park it's for the customers you got to so there's a little tower I'm building for her it, um, like I said, I'm just trial and error, trying different things out. Uh, I was going to make that a shorter little building, but then it didn't look right next to this one. So I made it a little taller, and I can use that for a couple, put a couple signs on it. I might look for something to put in front. See, I got a little different roof, because I've been using that roof quite a bit, so I wanted to break that stereotypical thing, so... This is the beginning. We got more to come from Phil and an old Grizz. I want to thank you for watching. And be safe. And um, we'll bring more of the park to you when I get some more posted. Thank you for watching. There's some fast editing for you. <laughs> I just wanted to get this all done and get it into the can. Alright. Like I said. Thank you for watching. Everyone be safe. And there will be more of Grizzle's name coming. We're just getting started on this part.